Eventually, the sun will die, shrinking down into a white dwarf, a dense, glowing ember of what it once was. By studying these stellar corpses, astronomers gain clues about the earliest stars in our galaxy, stars that formed long before the sun. And that leads to a fascinating thought experiment. If alien civilizations existed billions of years before us, and if they launched probes, then it's entirely possible that some of those probes could be passing near the sun right now. Could Oumuamua be one of them? Its odd shape, strange spin, and unexplainable acceleration. They've all sparked theories. Some scientists argue it's just a weird rock. Others, including a few credible voices, suggest it might be an artificial object. Not proof, but possibility. And in science, possibility is always worth investigating. Find out everything in today's Tech Map episode. It came without warning, a slender, tumbling object racing through space at impossible speed. At first, astronomers weren't sure what they were looking at. It didn't follow the rules of comets or asteroids. It didn't come from anywhere nearby. As the data rolled in, the truth became clear. This was something we had never seen before. A visitor from another star, the first of its kind. Long and narrow like a cosmic cigar, the object glinted faintly red ancient, scarred, and silent. It spun erratically as if it had drifted alone in the dark for eons, searching for a story to tell. Scientists called it Oumuamua, a Hawaiian word that means a messenger from afar arriving first. And indeed it was. A lone traveler from the stars, crossing our path for just a moment, then gone, leaving behind more questions than answers. What was it? Where did it come from? And will it be the last? When Oumuamua was discovered in 2017, telescopes all over the world started watching it closely to figure out what it was. Scientists in Hawaii noticed that as Oumuamua spins around every 7.3 hours, its brightness changes a lot, by about 10 times. This is very unusual because no asteroid or comet in our solar system changes brightness that much. This big change means Oumuamua is very long and skinny, about 10 times longer than it is wide, like a giant cigar. Most space rocks we know are only about three times longer than they are wide. They also found that Oumuamua has a reddish color, similar to objects far away in our solar system, and it doesn't have any dust or ice around it. This tells us it's made mostly of rock and maybe metal, and it doesn't have water or ice on its surface. The red color probably comes from being hit by cosmic rays, high-energy particles in space, for hundreds of millions of years. After it was discovered, big telescopes on Earth and in space, like NASA's Hubble and Spitzer telescopes, tracked Oumuamua as it moved away from Earth at about 85,700 miles per hour, 38.3 kilometers per second. It passed the orbits of Mars, Jupiter, and Saturn on its way out of the solar system heading toward the constellation Pegasus. Scientists think Oumuamua came from near the star Vega, but since it took around 300,000 years to get here, Vega wasn't in the same place when Oumuamua passed by. Astronomers believe objects like Oumuamua from outside our solar system probably pass through about once every year, but they are usually too faint to see. Only recently have telescopes become powerful enough to spot them. This means Oumuamua is a very strange, long and fast space rock from another star system that passed through our solar system, giving scientists a rare chance to study something from far beyond our own neighborhood in space. So, where exactly is it from? Scientists recently found something interesting about Oumuamua's journey through our galaxy. When they traced its path backward, they discovered that it stayed very close to the galactic mid-plane. This is the thin, flat region in the Milky Way where most of the younger stars are found. In fact, the way Oumuamua moves up and down vertically is about six times less than how much our sun bobs up and down as it orbits the galaxy. This means Oumuamua's path is unusually flat and close to the main disk of the galaxy which might give clues about where it came from and how it has traveled through space for so long. 
This tells us that Oumuamua probably originated near this thin disk region, home to stars less than 1 to 2 billion years old. To put that in perspective, the Sun is about 4.6 billion years old, and the universe itself is nearly 14 billion years old. So, Oumuamua is a cosmic youngster, an interstellar infant. This origin story suggests Oumuamua might have been kicked out of its home system during a chaotic stellar event, like a planet getting ejected or a star going supernova. But here's where it gets weird. Unlike any comet or asteroid we've seen, Oumuamua didn't have a coma or tail, no outgassing, which is what comets do when they heat up near the sun. But here's the kicker. It accelerated as it left our solar system. And scientists can't fully explain why. Solar radiation pressure alone doesn't cut it. What's going on here? Some researchers think it might have frozen hydrogen inside, maybe from a giant molecular cloud where temperatures drop to 3 Kelvin. That's almost absolute zero. But that acceleration, it's got a lot of people thinking there's more to this story. Okay, this part blew my mind. Oumuamua was almost stationary relative to the local standard of rest the average motion of stars around the Milky Way's center. That means the Sun basically slammed into it as we orbited the galaxy. The odds of that happening? Astronomers say it's so unlikely. It's almost like Oumuamua was waiting for us. This statistical anomaly has some experts wondering, was Oumuamua placed in our path on purpose? Could this be a sign of something or someone out there watching us? And that brings us to the big question. Is Oumuamua an alien probe? Harvard astronomer Avi Loeb has been saying for years that it could be. He thinks Oumuamua might be a light sail, a thin artificial structure designed to travel between stars. And he calls it the first breadcrumb in a trail of extraterrestrial contact. Loeb points to Oumuamua's weird shape, its acceleration, and that statistical anomaly as evidence that it might not be natural. And while some scientists argue it could be frozen hydrogen or nitrogen ice causing the acceleration, the alien hypothesis is gaining traction, especially with new data fueling the debate. So what if Oumuamua is a probe? What if it's the first of many? Some researchers say more interstellar objects might be coming, or they're already here, hiding in plain sight. Are we on the verge of discovering we're not alone in the universe? With projects like the Vera C. Rubin Observatory coming online soon, we might spot more objects like Oumuamua in the next few years. And if they show the same weird behavior, well, we might have to rewrite everything we know about our place in the cosmos. Additionally, there is further evidence for the hypothesis of Oumuamua's origin when we consider the case of two NASA spacecraft. The same mathematical techniques used to trace Oumuamua's path through space are also used to calculate the journeys of NASA's legendary spacecraft, Voyager 1 and Pioneer 10. These human-made probes have already left the solar system, but they're just getting started. In about 2 billion years, they'll reach the opposite side of the Milky Way. Then in 4 billion years, they'll swing back around and return to the sun's neighborhood just in time to catch a glimpse of home before the sun expands into a red giant and changes everything. That's right, even our own space probes need billions of years to make that round trip. But Oumuamua, it beat them to it by billions of years. Eventually, the sun will die, shrinking down into a white dwarf, a dense, glowing ember of what it once was. By studying these stellar corpses, Astronomers gain clues about the earliest stars in our galaxy, stars that formed long before the Sun. And that leads to a fascinating thought experiment. If alien civilizations existed billions of years before us, and if they launched Voyager-like probes, then it's entirely possible that some of those probes could be passing near the Sun right now. This makes the old question even hotter. Could Oumuamua be one of them? Its odd shape, strange spin, and unexplainable acceleration. They've all sparked theories. Some scientists argue it's just a weird rock. Others, including a few credible voices, suggest it might be an artificial object. Not proof, but possibility. And in science, possibility is always worth investigating. 
Maybe Oumuamua is just a cosmic relic, a shard of some distant world. Or maybe it's the first message drifting through the dark, quietly whispering, you are not alone. So what do you think? Is Oumuamua just a weird space rock? Or could it be our first clue of alien life? Drop your thoughts in the comments. I'm dying to hear what you believe. If you love this cosmic mystery, give us a thumbs up, hit subscribe, and ring that bell for more space adventures. We'll be back with more mind-blowing updates, so stay tuned. Until then, keep looking to the stars. When Oumuamua streaked through our solar system in 2017, it wasn't just a one-time cosmic surprise. Scientists have identified two more interstellar visitors, and each one adds another piece to the puzzle of our galaxy. First, there's IM-1, a meteor that crashed into Earth's atmosphere back in 2014. We didn't realize it was interstellar until years later, but now it's considered the first known object from another star system to ever reach our planet. Then came Borisov, a comet spotted in 2019. But unlike Oumuamua's odd behavior, Borisov looked and moved exactly like the comets we see in our own solar system. In fact, Borisov is believed to be around the same age as our Sun, traveling in a similar steady orbit. But I am one? It's a different story. It shows much larger vertical excursions than Oumuamua, meaning it moves farther above and below the galactic disk. This special vertical motion hints that IM-1 likely came from a much older population of stars, possibly billions of years older than the Sun. And Oumuamua? It doesn't match either of them. It seems to be tied to a younger generation of stars, making its origin all the more mysterious. Oumuamua was discovered for the first time in October 2017, when astronomer Robert Warrick was using the PanStars-1 telescope in Hawaii to scan the sky for asteroids and comets near Earth. That's when he spotted something really unusual, a strange object moving super fast, way faster than anything normally seen in our solar system. This object, later named Oumuamua, was already zooming away from the sun by the time it was discovered. What made it special was its incredible speed and trajectory, showing it wasn't from around here. It was actually from another star system making it the very first interstellar visitor we'd ever detected. Scientists noticed it had a weird elongated shape, like a long cigar, and a reddish color, probably because it had been drifting through space for millions of years. Right after the discovery, telescopes all over the world, including NASA's Hubble and Spitzer, turned their eyes to Oumuamua to learn as much as they could before it disappeared into the depths of space. So, in short, Oumuamua was found during a routine sky survey, but it turned out to be something extraordinary, the first known object from outside our solar system passing through, giving us a glimpse of the wider galaxy.